Well, that's enough of the talk. Let's get it down to it here with the Browns. Will it be Joke? Will it be young Colin who's looking to add to his resume, trying to bump his way up while Joke already at six figures and Madden earnings just searching for that ever elusive belt. A win here to stay in the tournament is what's ahead for that man right there. They've only had Pavin, who has won his club three times in a row. We've had a lot. Try to do it, Mo, and, and a lot of fail. And these guys want to play each other. They had some back and forth on Twitter. I know Colin chose this club just because Joke's the only good player that does it. So why can't I just try to beat Joke in one game? Joke has a Twitter account? Yeah, he does. He uses it quite frequently. All right. Did not know that. First and 10 at the 31. And here are the playbooks. Young Colin going Dolphins and Jets. Yep, the Dolphins playbook, we haven't seen it a whole lot, but he's going to be running that two-back formation. But that, the interesting thing about that two-back formation, it has two running backs, and he sneaks in three wide receivers, but there's really supposed to be a tight end there. He packages in a third wide receiver. So he's actually able to audible down to an eye form if you run a big nickel set. You know all about the Raiders, but he's going to start out with that Jets defense here against Colin. Yeah, no surprise there seeing that Raiders playbook. We've seen it throughout this tournament. But most time we see that Raiders playbook, we see that jukebox on the, run, on the best running back. He has Iker, Eric Dickerson with no jukebox box just going to be trying to pound it out fall forward with Eric Dickerson we'll see how it works out joke only give it up nine points per game coming into this one Collins averaging nearly 19 points a game so we should see a good one here and we're gonna go split backs to start it out here for Colin rocking that old familiar 818 tag Andrew Luck no, my God, to the what am I right doing, side. I did not just do that. He threw it into a dangerous situation, and Joke just couldn't elevate to make the interception. Looked like Colin is a little bit nervous there. Why make that throw? You know, first play of the game, but he gets a huge break. See if he is able to capitalize. Andrew Luck getting outside. Marvin oh, can't get his mitts on it. What? Okay. He's like, hey, I chose the abilities. And the dashing dead eye, it didn't even look like it activated. Yeah, it looked like he was running back there a little bit, though. It, you don't really, you really shouldn't make that throw. You know what I mean? Like, that's good defense. He really shouldn't make that throw. Second and 10. Here for Colin on his opening drive. Luck once again. Throwing it up top to Dante, and it's going to be picked off by Dion. He's got some space. Prime time. Across the 35-yard line. We'll cut it back. And they will finally force him down at the 27-yard line. A huge return for Joke. And Collins just nervous. It looked like that in route was breaking wide open. He rushed the throw. His players are tired. Just, just a little bit nervous, not doing the things he was doing yesterday. Might had X over the top, too. Nevertheless, it'll be time for Joke to set up his audibles. And when He's been in some big games mode, just, just has not won the belt. A win here would make it nine event appearances, but he's come up empty. That's absolutely insane. He's he's one of the best players in this era. He's always right there, but just isn't able to get it done, isn't able ever to win the tournament. But, you know, he's right there every single time. Eventually, something's going to give. I play there all the time, bro. Sit back and relax. You hear Colin telling himself to relax, settle down. A little late, though. You know, you've already gotten stopped. But the thing with Joke is that's, you, you're just playing into his hands. He doesn't even have to play offense. He's not the best offensive player, but he's really, really smart. He's not going to make a mistake now that he's gotten this stop. Trust me, he's going to grind this out. He will take his field goal and get back on defense. And there's that brand-new Eric Dickerson, the former SMU great. We'll take it to the 28-yard line. Lost one. It'll be second and 11. He's given up a lot, though, with not having that jukebox. He's not going to be able to make those extra plays that we've seen. These Barry Sanders is Clinton Portis making those plays. He's not going to be able to make some of those plays just because he doesn't have that jukebox. You know, Eric Dickerson did get a lot of respect in the NFL, and a lot of it was he just made it look too easy. Always oh, a argument between him and Dorsett. Both of those guys had a lot of speed as Dickerson takes it to the 22-yard line. Still waiting to see the goggles. Third and five. We're going to see Joe go to shotgun a little bit early here. Didn't expect to see this. Ball to 22, short field. 
after that long return by Dion. Might see an inside zone here, though. Looks like he's got to get past the, right down to the 16-yard line. One man to beat, and he'll spin his way inside the five, and that's where they'll mark him, first and goal. It looked like if he would have just went straight at Apke, he might have been able to get in the end zone. Apke, not the best tackler. Just try to run him over. Don't try to spin him. You don't need to go away from him. Word around the community is this is the best running back of the game. Yeah, I, th I think he is, but I want to see him with that jukebox. You know, I want to see him excited. You know, Eric Dickerson actually made me a little bit of money in Madden 16. Uh, I love that guy. Came out the week right after Walter Payton in Madden 16. Broke my heart. Walter Payton was good for three days. And he'll fall forward to the three-yard line, second and goal. I like to see Collins switch to defense. That 3-3-5 that three, three, is like kind of like a contained run defense. It's not going to blow up the run, and you're in a situation where you've got to stop the run in the backfield. Brings an extra man down in the box. Here it's second and goal from the three. Tire equal, move in motion. Stretch right. Joe already, already kind of working this clock for Joe. So he's going back to the dive. And he'll hand it. Eric Dickerson. It stopped at the one, and here comes a big third down. I think this is two down territory. Yeah, it looked like he went on aggressive there, so we're going to see him run the ball, try to fall forward with Eric Dickerson. I agree, Scott. If he doesn't get stopped in the backfield, if he just runs it for a no-yard gain, I think he'll go for it. Third and goal from the one. Opening drive of the ball game for Joke after the huge interception return by Dion. Can he get points off that turnover? Stretch right. And Ryan Shazier to lead the way, and it's a touchdown for Joke. And if you're Joke, that's exactly what you expected coming to this game. Get your, let your defense get you a stop and just run the ball with Eric Dickerson. And the PAT is up and it's good. Six plays for 27 yards, taking up 242. And when you're playing a guy like Joe, young Colin couldn't afford that start. Yeah, absolutely not. Colin knows he had a score on that first drive. I always like when, when you're a little bit nervous, it's a little bit easier if you start on defense. You know what I mean? Because even if you play bad defense, you kind of get those jitters out and you realize, all right, man, it's just a game. When you start on offense and you get stopped, it's so crucial because it's, it's almost over sometimes. You know, if you're not able to stop your opponent, you can't come back from it. Young Colin ran the ball 60% of the time. And the online qualifiers... But here in the clubs, on the big stage, he's trying to slang it. Got him. Luck looking deep. And knocked away by Troy P. He had to just wait just another second. That's going to be a touchdown. He had to wait just another second. Second and 10. Lucky to get away with that one. Look at all these guys in the box, Mo. Yeah, he's going to be blitzing seven here for sure. Luck. Trying to get away from it and just throws oh it up. God. And that'll sail out of bounds. One for five for just 13 yards and a pick. And Collins not going back to the play call screen to see whether his guys are tired or not. He's just running his players out there tired. He's not going to be able to get them open. Luck, quick throw outside. There's Logan, the low capper. Will work his way to 39. That's going to make it fourth and manageable. He needs one. This is almost a passing situation. You know Joke's going to have a great run defense. We've seen a lot of players play where if they're at fourth and one, you just know they're going to run the ball. Not the case here. Got to get really to the 41 here. Needs a yard and a half. Luck runs out. Oh my Sets God. his feet and just throws it right to Dion. Dion says, thank you very much. And he'll work his way across midfield to the 45. Second INT of the game for not only Dion but Joe. Just way too easy, Colin. You gotta just settle down and play offense. You're you're just nervous out there. It's the voice of Sirius Mo. Won two belts, and he's got to be careful here. We're almost getting to GG time here early in the first. I'm formation. He'll hand it off. Eric Dickerson, and a good run defense right there. And Joke's not going to make any mistakes. This game is going to the second quarter, guaranteed. He'll chew the clock. 
And so, at the end of one quarter, joke seven, and young Colin with a donut. And for Joke, seven is the same as three here. If he's able to get three points, he's going to be extremely happy. He knows he gets the ball at half. Being up two possessions is huge in this game. Remember, we got the Bengals club championship going on right now. We'll have all the highlights for you. It's Nick and Tyler have been keeping an eye on that one. Dickerson to the outside. Good block there by Shazier. And he'll spin his way back to the 34. And that will be a first down. He's locked up the field goal. Look for him to just run some dives. Make sure he doesn't lose any yardage. First and 10 at the 34. Two turnovers, trying to get points once again. Dickerson in the eye formation, two tight ends. Trying to go up two scores here, and boy, is he working the clock. And Eric Dickerson untouched into the second level. Now just outside the red zone at the 21-yard line. And if you're Colin, I don't know why you keep getting stuck on Troy Apke. He doesn't have that secure tackler. Get back on Troy Palomalu. He's going to be much better in the run game. So another first down. And Joe just sit back, relax. He's going to take all the play clock down here. And this might be a trend for the rest of the game, Mo. I think it will be. Another short field. Two drives, both of them plus territory. And Dickerson can't get outside this time. Ten carries for 49 yards, but this time loses two. And it looks like when Colin is able to get that run defense set up, he is stuffing the run, but he's just not getting set up. And I, it's really hard to not get set up when your opponent's snapping the ball at one second every, every time. Stop being nervous. You've got to play your game. Go with what got you here. Second 12 from the 22 now. You know every time Joke audibles to this strong wing, he's running the stretch. Just be set up for the stretch. That's all you have to stop in this formation. Dickerson gets a block, cuts it back. And deep inside the red zone now at the 13. Here comes a third and two. And look at the anguish already. And if I'm Joke, I've realized that one of that strong wing formation, Colin has absolutely no idea what to do. I would just keep going back to it. Why even mix it up? He has no idea what to do versus that stretch. Got him in a mental pretzel here on defensively. And after this run, that should take us to the two-minute warning. Joke is owning the game and the possession. Dickerson in the backfield once again. And he'll head that way, and Bullock comes through with a huge play. That's a big play, Scott. He's only going to be down by 10, and he's getting the ball back with two minutes and all three timeouts. You have plenty of time to score where you can cut it to a one-possession game, even a three-point game, and give Joke the ball back where you only got to get one stop. That's huge. So 7-0 here at the two-minute warning already. And it's going to be a 35-yarder for Joke. Looking to make it a two-score game. He's trying to win his 67th MCS game. Yeah, he's been around. You know, he, he's been right there. We've talked about it. He's been right there almost every tournament, it seems like. But he's just never able to get over the hump. Almost someone that you don't expect to win the tournament just because he hasn't been able to win that big game. He's run into Skimbo a few times. Yeah, it gets real, real tough when you, when you run into that guy. 10 to nothing now, 155 to go. Still waiting on the explosive offense of young Colin to get it going. Split backs once again. He's had guys, it's just been, the reads have been rough. Gets outside again. And he'll use his legs this time, and Andrew Luck will pick up the first down. It almost seemed like if he would have playmakered him a little bit earlier, he could have set himself up to where either to have a touchdown or about a 25-yard run with Luck. Playmakered him a little late, still able to pick up 11, but he had an opportunity for a much bigger game. Stops the clock, still has three timeouts remaining with 1.48 to go now. 
And remember, Joke's going to get the ball to start the half. Great read. And so this is, I hate to be cliche after the big game, but this is must score. And it might be must score seven. It is, Scott. And you know, that's the issue is you've put yourself in a position where you got to get sevens now, where if you would have just played patient and you would have played your game from the beginning, you would be in a great spot. But you just kind of forced it early, and now it's caught up to you. Luck got a lot of room to the outside, and he will get out of bounds. Takes a big hit at the 30. He's thrown two picks, has led to 10 points. But now for the first time, he's in field goal range. One thing I don't like is Colin just keeps coming on his plays. He's not checking to see whether his guys have energy or not. And that's why we see, that's why we see Marvin Harrison run that route so slow. It's because he's tired. If he was faster, he would have ran that route really fast and he would have had a much better chance of converting. As you can see, Andrew Luck is beat red because he just wasn't checking. He wasn't, he wasn't making sure he got his, his guys back energized because if you just scroll through that play call screen for a little bit, they gained some energy. He wasn't doing that. And that he's just wasting plays, and you can't do that when you're down 10 nothing to a player like Joke. He's certainly not been patient on any front in this game for young Colin. Third and five. Luck swings it to the outside. Dante looking for the marker. He's going to be just shy. And Joke is going to be the one to use a timeout. Here's fourth and inches. I don't like that timeout by Joke at all. You're going to have plenty of time if you stop him anyways. And it's not even a real conversation of whether or not he's going to go for it. He's going to go for it every time. And he's not even going to be looking to milk the clock. So just save that timeout if he does score. You know, you're going to have that extra timeout. And you're only going to waste probably 10 more seconds than what you did. Fourth and three inches at the 25-yard line. It's going to go to the air. And he's got him in the corner. And he'll hang on at the three-yard line. And that was a phenomenal play call, Scott. I was not expecting that at all, and neither was Joke, and that's why that guy was wide open. He needed two inches. Instead, he throws it all the way down to the three-yard line, first and goal. One minute remaining in the half. How many times have we seen somebody come out and shotgun first and goal from the three, Scott? I don't like it. Audible down, look for a dive here. 50 seconds to go now. Here's the motion from Dante. Hands it off. Get in there, babe. And Come Barry on. will work his way stop, in. Bro. Touchdown, young to Colin, here. finally. And it's just strange to me because Joke used that timeout earlier, but when Colin got to the three, he didn't use that timeout. He would have saved probably 40 seconds and got the ball back with a minute and 10 seconds. It just makes no time. It makes no sense how Joke has managed this game so far. Remember, we got the Cincinnati Bengals Club Championship going on at the same time. And I saw Nick and Tyler over there jumping up and down, so there's going to be some exciting highlights coming just around the bend, but we got a great one right here. Seven to 10 now. As young Colin gets on the board, makes it a three-point game, and now we'll see what Joke does. I'm interested to see how Joke manages here because he's up by three. He's going to get the ball at half, but these are the situations where it's really easy to make a mistake. Barry just bouncing his way in, making it a ball game here right before the half. And it does look like Joke's just going to come out in that eye form tight. First and ten. Two timeouts remaining. For both Colin and Joke. General Wetz. They've had a. I don't like this. I don't like to see him pass the ball here. Hey, Delta! Q, Q, Q! White! Looks like, looks like he's going to go to that dive. And he will hand it off to Eric Dickerson. Make this happen. And he'll get out of bounds. That's better for Colin than it is for Joke. Remember, we got highlights coming up between. Free the Penguins and Krill. Nick, Tyler Davis, a.k.a. TD, over there watching. I'm not saying I'm rooting against you two guys going forward, but if losses mean that you guys get to come hang out with us, I'm semi for it. I don't know how you could take that, Mo. Take that either way. I don't like it. <laughs> Skimbo would always say, I hope I never call a game with you ever again, because that means I'm still winning. And Dickerson will pick up the first down here. And here comes a timeout from Joke, 30 seconds to go in the half. I told Pavin that, and he took it the wrong way. I was like, 
I hope I never call a game with you again, Pavin. And it was like, <laughs> what the heck, man? Like, that's not cool. I mean, no, it means you were, you're winning games. And Jokes put himself in a position here where it's really manageable for him to get a field goal. He's got a few plays from about the 50-yard line. He's got a timeout. If he does get stopped in bounds, this is a really good situation for Joke. I would expect to see a pass here, though, because he doesn't really have enough time to where if he runs the ball and doesn't get in field goal range where he's going to be able to manage the clock comfortably. So I expect to see a pass here and maybe a run down the line. And we've got a penalty here. And that's going to move him forward five yards. And he quickly accepted that one. Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea why Colin didn't just use a timeout if he wasn't set up on defense. So that'll push him forward. You'd think probably what he needs... 12, 13 yards to be comfortable with a field goal. Rivers in the gun. You don't see a lot of this out of Joke. And Phillip lets it sling, and Tyreek Hill will get down in a field goal range at the 33. Joke's not going to run another play. He's just going to let the clock go down, kick the field goal. If you were Colin, would you use a timeout there? I would, Scott. I would. I would force him to run the ball and maybe even think about losing a yard. You know what I mean? Make him think. Just maybe just blitz all the linebackers, play deep safety with your safety, not give up the touchdown. <laughs> but, you know, you can make yourself look real silly if you do that too. It's going to be a 50-yarder here for Joke. Try to put himself up six here before the half. Can't block kick that. is up. Can't block it. It's an Can't accurate kick, it. and it's good. So here at the half, in the Browns Club Championship, Joke trying to go three in a row, and he's got a 13-7 lead over young Colin. We got a good one here at the half, but uh, we got two games going on at once, so let's check in with Nick and Tyler. Hey, thanks a lot, Scott. We got the luckiest job in the world because we get to watch both of these games. We've been keeping on our, our eye on that Bengals club final between Free the Penguins and Krill, and TD, it hasn't disappointed. Yeah, two good games going on so far, but this, this, this game has been wild. Krill and Penguins, I mean, Krill had some great stick work, and Penguins, as you can see here, Penguins with that sweep of Tyreek Hill taking the lead. He's up 14 to 7. This play made this us play, get this, out of our seats. Look this at Gale Sayers. This work by Krill is phenomenal. Goes out with Gale Sayers, cuts back in, back out. Oh, man. It's not too often you see a player the caliber of Deion Sanders look that silly. Yeah, just phenomenal stick work by Krill. And then this play you can see with Penguins right here. He goes up top, fourth and five. Huge play in the game, one-on-one -on -one with Pat Tillman. Over the top. We went Tillman. This hole, and he catches it. Undercuts crazy him. play. Just Beautiful. a crazy play right there for Penguins. And yeah, Penguins is taking control in that game, up 27-14 up, uh, right now, so he's looking good, but that's been a wild game. It's been a fantastic game, 27-14, to as they have just entered the third quarter. How do you see this one playing out? Well, Krill gets the ball starting in second half, so he, he, he's under center all game. He wants to establish the run. He needs some kind of big plays in this run game to get back in the game. And then he needs to slow down Penguins' bunch offense, which he hasn't been able to do, so that's going to be the key for him. It's really been a back-and-forth battle with two great offenses. Don't forget, you can check out this entire game on video on demand at the Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube YouTube channel and you're going to want to check it out because it's been a phenomenal game. We got a half left in this Browns Club final. Let's throw it back to Scott and Mo. Thank you, gentlemen. Wow, what a catch there by Torrey Holt. 27-14 uh, ball game. We got all Ohio going on here at the same time in, in your neck of the woods. Are, are, you, are there Browns fans, Bengals fans? What's what's controlling Lima? Uh, I probably root for oh Bengals fans. You know everybody loves the Browns though, so it's, it's split 50-50 <laughs> I would say. But you know the Bengals fans, if you're still a Bengals fan, you're everybody thinks you're a little crazy. There's Tyreek Hill still on his feet, and this is an important drive coming up here for Joke, who jumped out to a 10-0 lead, but Young Colin would come back after throwing two INTs to finally get himself a score there in that first half. I don't want to speak too early, but Joe getting that three at the end of the half, it just seems like that's the focal point of this game. Back to two tight end formation. Hands it off to Eric Dickerson. And Dickerson will work his way to the 39-yard line. Here comes the second and three. If you've been watching Joe for a long time, you just see the maturity. I mean, this is a guy that used to one play, negative play, could destroy his whole game. He certainly has changed a lot of his mindset over the years. More calm and collected. Trying to make his ninth major appearance. 
looking for that first belt. And Dickerson won't get there. Here comes third down. And Joke plays a dangerous style in this game. He plays a style where he, where it's almost as if his opponents have to make mistakes. You know, he's not going to play great offense. His opponents have to mis make mistakes and put him in great positions, or else his style is not going to work out too well. But Collins made the mistakes. He's made it really easy for Joke, and this drive is huge. If Joke's able to get three points, the game may be over. Tyreek to the left side, smoke and mirrors. Here on third and one. And Dickerson will pick up the first down a little bit more as he works his way out to the 47 now. 16 carries for 73 yards. Here for Joe. And we're going to see that clock tick, 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 tick. This entire quarter, Joke's going to continue to run the ball. He's not going to mix it up. He's not going to make a mistake. This time it's Dickerson once again. And that will be right at midfield. Joke's a guy that chose Cleveland because he was a huge LeBron fan. And you wondered if he would move to one of the L.A. teams. But he's, not, he's like, no, I'm actually loyal. And so he sticks with the Browns. Trying to make it three in a row. Anytime I have a chance to take a shot at LeBron, I normally do. Yeah, you got to be careful around me. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't just feel so comfortable <laughs> doing that. I've already bagged on Emmett Smith. Now I'm moving on to LeBron. Oh I got boy, Ohio State right jab here. somewhere in the fourth quarter. And 13 Joke, to 7 here. That's a big third and 12. Yeah, Jokes missed lanes on back-to-back -back plays. Looked like both times on that first and second down. He could have cut it up and picked up a huge yardage has, and tried to go outside and just lost yards on that last play. And now he's in a really tough spot with that Phillip Rivers. No mobility at quarterback at all. It's 100% a pass play. You don't need a spy for him. Drop everybody in coverage. It doesn't matter. Phillip Rivers has no chance of running the ball. Under two minutes to go now in the third. Opening drive in the second half, and he'll get it to Torrey Holt. Cross midfield at the 47. Three for three for 33 yards, and here's a fourth and five. What are you doing? If I was Colin, I would be dropping everybody in coverage versus this Phillip Rivers. He's not a threat to run. You just need your guys to hold up just long enough to get that block shed. But it looks like he's going to be sending pressure here. Nope, he is dropping into coverage. Needs five here on fourth down. Rivers. Well, had B for a moment, and he's got oh. it's wide open, and it's baited. Points. Shazier with a huge interception. All of a sudden, young Colin, he's got life. Yeah, and Colin did put a spy versus Philip Rivers, and it almost cost him because he had the, the hitch open, but Joke just waited a little bit too long, and that route started to come back to him, and that's why that interception happened. Some indecision by Joke leads to an INT, and now Young Collin repping the 818 has a chance to go down here and take the lead. If you're Collin, I'm noticing that he's user in that Josh Shaw. You gotta find a way to abuse that. Luck has A open, sides not to throw it. That was a phenomenal click on by Joke there. Just completely saved a 30-yard gain. And if Colin would have threw that ball to that post route coming across the middle, it would have been picked. Certainly learned like young Colin has learned some lessons from the first half. Decide to keep it there and make it a second and six. Luck gets it to Marvin. And Harrison will roll his way to the 27. It's going to be first and 10 here in the waning seconds of the third. Collins starting to feel himself a little bit on offense. Joe goes right back to that 3-4 bear. Luck here on first and 10. And he'll throw it away. Joke trying to get a stop after he throws a wild INT. He pretty much had the game in control. It almost feels whoever's able to get a touchdown in this game, it, it, you almost got to give them the nod, but Joke's still going to be in a good position to win the game regardless of this drive. So Andrew Luck will scramble his way to the 27, and we got a third and four coming up. And now you talk about how big that field goal was right before the end of the half. 
Yeah, because if Colin would Colin would take a field goal here if, if he doesn't convert right here on third down. Now he has to go for seven. And on the other end of that, if Joke gets if Joke gets a stop or Joke lets him score, Joke's gonna have that last possession regardless. Put your fours up and Mo, this is a wild throw from Joke that turned it over. That guy Colin in the situation he's in now. Look when X stops, he has him for a second, but then Shazier realizes it and goes back and makes the play. Good click on user pick by Shazier, and all of a sudden, Colin is in business right outside the red zone at the 21. Put your fours up. Five minutes to go. And young Collins got a third and four. Trying to take the lead. Got to convert here. Motion's in for the block. Luck will go to the left side now and just drops it in for the first down. Is that the first time we've seen Barry Sanders get any work in this game? I, he, he ran for the touchdown. He's got one rush, and it was a touchdown. But we haven't seen a whole lot of Barry Sanders usage in this game. I would like to see him get the ball here, especially now that he's in the red zone. Remember, he started this game one of six. He's now seven of 14. So he's really picked up the reads as the game has progressed. First and 10, clock stopped. After the first play of the fourth, luck again. Looking to the end zone, nothing there. He tries to squeeze one in. I don't like mass, max protection at the 13-yard line. I really don't, especially not when you're in this two-back formation. Those running backs are going to be the guys that you're able to get in space down here. I do not like seeing him come out and max protect. This is wheel route to Barry time. Second and 10. Motions out to Dante. Quick throw. Oh, and pick off by come Troy Palomalu. He's gone. Come on! Can he take it all the way back? For six, Dante, the fastest man alive, ain't gonna catch up. Touchdown, Joe! They don't teach you that. Touchdown, they don't teach you that. And a little capping at the end. What a play! Quick throw, quick pick six. Time. You mentioned these guys were talking before the game online. And they've certainly carried it to the stage. That's an easy one. EliteMadden.com. Dropping URLs and dropping touchdowns. Goes for two. And now we got a 14-point game with 439 to go for young Colin. How quick the game can change. Colin went from having control of the game, kind of controlling his own destiny, to throwing a pick six. Great user play by Joke there on defense. Clicks on, makes the play. And then bye, Felicia. And Joke needed that. Even if he just stopped Colin, he wasn't playing very good offense. Getting that, getting that defensive touchdown is huge. Three interceptions down. Throw by that man right there, young Colin. Trying to keep his head up. Struggling here with 4.37 to go. Come on, come on, come on. What a chain of events that was. You had three in your back pocket. So it ends up being a 10-point swing on the pick six. Make it 11 because he got the two-point conversion. And, and you still have time. You know, you just have to score before the two-minute warning. Give yourself a chance. Leave yourself all three of those timeouts. 21 to 7 now. Joke with the momentum once again. He'll hand it off to Barry. Goes right up the gut. Spins to the 41. Maybe had some room outside. Look for Colin to probably force something here. The clock's working against him. We've seen them early mistakes. Wouldn't be surprised to see another one in this spot. Luck. Not able to pick up the blitz, and there's a sack. This time it's Ray Lewis. There's a bad man. And it's going to be a second and 18 now. If you're Colin, you're feeling the pressure. You know you got to score before that two-minute warning, and Joe just takes you back. Second and 18, really tough to convert. All the way back at the 33-yard line now. Luck. Joe got stuck. He's going to make him choose one. He lobs it up top in the coverage, and it's picked off once again. Deion Sanders with his third pick of the ball game. And Joke just played phenomenal defense all game. This is going to be all she wrote. Joke's going to run the ball. Even if he doesn't convert, convert the first down, he's just going to punt Let's it go, away. Play on. great defense all game. A few first downs, Dickerson. A few. Come on. He's come in with some of the best scoring defense 
out of the 128. And he's proved it here in the final. Only three-time club champ was Pavin. Joke is 255 away from joining him. Just a really flawless game on defense, honestly, by Joke. Never really had to show too much on offense. Didn't play great offense. And he let his defense win him the game, and that's huge. Second and 13 now. Take it to the two-minute warning after this. Young Colin praying to the Madden gods for a fumble. He's squeezing every second out of that clock. And Bullock will hang on for dear life. And that should take us to the two-minute warning in a 21-7 ball game. Colin certainly had his chances, even playing as poorly as he has. Yeah, that first half he played miserable offense. Able to get himself back in the game, gets the ball down by six, makes it all the way down to the red zone. I would have loved to see him come out in a formation other than that two back because there's no threat to run the ball there. I'd like to see him run the ball in the red zone. It's such a crucial part of the game. We don't see it, ends up throwing a pick six, and that was the story of the game. Joke is too good to spot him points, that's for sure. Third and 10. And a mistake you would see a lot of players make here is passing the ball here, giving their opponent a little window to come back. Joke's going to run the ball here every single time. Well, man, 20 more than ever. If you can get a timeout out of your opponent. Ball he game. breaks away from Shane's ear. Dickerson into the open you, space up the sideline, and he'll lay down for the win. Just way too easy. Just You played right into Joke's hands. He wasn't that great on offense, but it didn't matter because his defense won him the game. His defense put him in positions. Even aside from the That's pick six, he stopped him on there's his own side, on Collins' own side, was able to start the game at his opponent's 30-yard line. That's exactly what you want when you're a defensive player just grinding out games. Go, Going one man. more up on Dr. Disrespect. Three-time here for Joke. And what you saw on that breakaway, Mo, had to be aggressive tackling. Yeah, he, he went for the strip, and that's just not going to work versus the best running back in the game. That's all she wrote. Joke has done it three times in three years, representing the Cleveland Browns. He'll move on to the round of 32, and he's going to make his ninth appearance in an EA major. And I know I'm beating a dead horse here, Mo. Zero belts. Yeah, but he's right there. You know, he gives himself another shot at it, and that's all that matters. 21-7. to seven. It was a defensive ball game. We had a ton of turnovers, and a lot of them by that man over there on the left. And it started off here ugly as he threw in a coverage time and time again. Yeah, he had the post running wide open. At the beginning of the game, it looked like he was just playing nervous. Luck coming to the other side. There's Dion with his second pick of the ball game. And it would be 21 to seven. And Dion says, how about one more time? It's a hat trick for Dion in the interception department. And, and this changed the game right here, Mo. Yeah, that was the game. Just get it out of there. You know, Troy Palomalu just dead the game. Pick six, no chance after that. And you can see the emotion. He knew how big that play was. And he had locked up the Browns Club Championship for the third time. Just him and Pavin, the only two to do it in a 21 to seven ball game. You can see his run there. Only giving up seven points here in the Browns Club Championship. He's hanging out with Evan. All right, thank you so much, Scott. I've got Joke here with a win. You have become the second person to win three club championships in a row with the same team. How does that feel, man? It feels great. This is what I wanted. Uh, I'm pretty sure me winning that game pretty much almost locks me in from Adam Bowl. Last year, like, was the first year from MCS that I had to watch the last event from home, and I, was, I just kept telling myself, I'm not going to let that happen again. And I, I think I'm almost locked in, so that's what, is, what I'm most excited for. That's what's been driving you. We could tell it was a lot about this event, but also you have a bigger picture in mind for what you want this year and then next year to be about for you for Madden. In your own words, what yeah, do you want I, from I that? I feel like year in and year out since I started playing Madden and Madden 09, I've been top 10 player in the world every single year. I don't know how many other people can say that. Maybe Mo was one of the only ones. And last year, I felt like I wasn't good enough. I wasn't top 16, mm -hmm. so I just felt like I had to put more pressure on myself to be better, and I've been better. Well, you've done well in the clubs, obviously three in a row here. But today's game, there were some moments where things didn't always look easy. A couple of great moments for you, though, defensively that really set you apart. Four INTs. What was it that had you just having Colin figured out? 
Well, I, uh, shout out to Ryan. Uh, he ran two back on me, so I got a lot of reps against him. But he was actually motion blocking his receiver, so like I started making a little bit of a lack of an adjustment. I was just touching my corner, mm -hmm. so he couldn't roll out because when he was blocking his receiver, my cornerback who was in the zone was just going to the middle of the field, so he wasn't guarding the corner out. So the last drive, I started touching them, so my zone would stay there and wouldn't follow the receiver. Well, let's take a look at that big pick six in the fourth quarter. You can walk us through this moment right here that kind of iced the game. So uh, I can't say what zone that was because people are still behind the curve, but <laughs> that, that zone is going to stop a flat route and a corner route. And I had a feeling he was going to be either or. And I made sure that I had Troy Palomaro there because he's got 90 zone. And he, he made the time play. Big time stuff there, man. So let's let's look towards the club majors. Obviously, you're representing the Browns here. You're uh, not only here for the second, but the third time. And I want to know what do you what do you think? And now you have a chance to sit back and watch the AFC North develop. Uh, what what do you have your eye on for the next few weeks? For me, it's always the same thing. I'm going to scout the Steelers next because that's I'm, I play the first game. I'm going to take one game at a time, but. I have one go, and it's to get my first bell, and that's what I'm looking forward to. All right, thanks for the words, Joke. Appreciate you, man. Congratulations, and we'll be seeing him a little bit more in the round of 32. All right, guys, the NFC South and the AFC. But first, excuse me, we're going to head over, get an update on the Bengals. I tried to jump the gun there. You guys want to know what's up with the Bengals. We've got Nick and Ty. They're going to give you a little bit of info.